Bryophytes are small, green, primitive plants which tend to be seriously neglected unless you get too much of them in your lawn. They include mosses and liverworts, which are similar life forms but not identical. Bryophytes to me are, are lower plants, easily overlooked, and I certainly have been studying natural history for 14, 15 years, and they were one of the last things that I took an interest in. I think one of the reasons is you need to get up close and personal with them to see their true beauty. Bryophytes are important basically because they are primary colonists, which means that if you get a, a, a habitat like, for example, a heath that's just been burnt, or tree bark, or rocks where nothing much else will grow, bryophytes come in very early and they can often form a niche in which other things can take root. They're also interesting because they tend to be very sensitive to airborne pollutants, so you can get a good idea of air quality by, uh, by looking at what bryophytes are around. Bryophytes are important, I feel, because they provide an opportunity to show people that when you get up close to the natural world, it can come alive. Lower plants can be as attractive as any of the beautiful birds that people tend to first focus on. But you do need to stop, get down close to them, and use an illuminated magnifying glass to see their true beauty. It's been fun for me in the last few years to relate some of what I've learned through the Bryophyte group to people that I take out on my walks, show them a moss at close range, and they react in the same way they would with a rare bird on occasion. Devon's a great place for bryophytes. It's one of the best counties in England, largely because it's got such a variety of habitats. We've got uplands with a lot of hard acid rocks. We've got arable ground. We've got a lot of limestone locally in places like Tor Bay. We have a lot of bog land of various kinds. We've got conifer plantations, uh, deciduous woodlands of various different kinds, sea cliffs of various different kinds. Uh, and sand dune systems. So basically a very good place to be. It's got well over half the British bryophyte flora. It's just got the right habitats. It's positioned in the right place as far as the Atlantic's concerned. And many people travel to Dartmoor to see the Atlantic woodland specialists that occur in huge quantities, really, compared to other habitats. We also have a fair bit of rainfall through the year. You can find 20 or 30 mosses and liverworts on a short walk around a town centre or around people's town gardens. The Devon Bryophyte Group came about in August 2011. Uh, there were two or three people that I knew who were just beginning to tackle the mosses and the liverworts thanks to the new field guide by the British Bryological Society. And we were all expressing a sort of frustration that we we were doing it on our own really and wouldn't it be lovely if we could get together as a group with an expert or two to help us along and that's how it came about. Also Devon is an enormous county <laughs> and it's good to have more people on board. We have an average of six meetings a year usually in places known to be good for bryophytes or sometimes in places where we just want to go and see what's there. The function of the group really is, well, twofold, to encourage people who perhaps would like to know more but lack confidence and to record what bryophytes we've got in the county because, as I said, it's a very big area. Uh, there's far more to find than we were managing before and the more bryologists we can have going out and doing recording, the better it'll be. To me, the function of the Devon Bryophyte Group is to tap into the knowledge of those people that have studied them for a long time. Once you've got a grasp of some of those mosses and liverworts and their associations, then that, can, that enthusiasm can be passed on to newcomers. Well, we'd love to see more members. Um, anybody is welcome. Simply turn up. There's no formal structure at all. You don't pay a fee. You simply come along, join and see if you like it. I think people should come to the group and give it a try because it, it can change your perspective on the small and the beautiful and it, it can open up a new world to you. I tend to think that the mosses and liverworts, without the showy flowers, can be hiding their secrets and without a little lens and a bit of know-how and a bit of knowledge from others, they can so easily be overlooked as a kingdom, a secret kingdom.